As such, the love of Allah must necessarily be considered the purest form of love, for it is not contingent on any benefit being conferred to him or any virtue of those who receive his love. The son wrote the philosopher and essayist Ralph Waldo Emerson, is never troubled that some of his rays fall wide and vain into ungrateful space and only a small part on the reflecting planet. What then of the one who united our sun and indeed every luminous star throughout all the innumerable galaxies of creation? The luminous radiation of the generous sun may seem unchanging, but it is slowly and inexorably consumes itself to warm our solar system, while Allah's love is never exhausted. Isn't that poetic, eh? <laughs>